Welcome back, this is Yama Jack and Squeak Squeak. Uh, today we got Gunslinger Burning Paris Suicidal. Today I had a shower. It's, it's not every day that I have a shower. It's uh, typically like every other day. But today I had a shower. Yesterday I did not, the day before that I did. It's how every other day works, typically anyway. You know, unless you're living in some kind of like uh, weird alternate universe where... Um... Anyway, I had a shower today and... You know, sometimes I get out of the shower and I... You know, I, I do the the typical thing. I'm I'm a you know I'm I'm a, I'm a basic white girl with with long hair. So I, I get out of the shower and I'm wrapped in a towel and I got the towel around my hair. You know, I'm 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 that kind of I'm that kind of chick. You know, it's 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 the most convenient way to do it, right? You get to get out of the bathroom reasonably quickly. You get to have your hair not getting water all over everything because uh, you ain't trying that hair off immediately. Get out of here! It's there's too much there's too much hair. Um, and then, uh, you know, after that, I typically head downstairs. I'll typically sit in my towel for a little while before I put on clothes. Um, just to kind of finish drying off sort of passively-ish, you know? Like, I'm mostly dry. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I'll just, like, chill out for a little while so that my clothes don't get, like, sticky and annoying when I put them on. Today I just uh, never ended up putting the clothes on, so I'm, I'm still sitting here with uh, with my towel on, and I'm like, yeah, I should probably go put clothes on. It hasn't been that long. I don't think it's a uh, it's a problem, but I'm I'm like, you know, it's just it's a very comfortable like dress almost. You know what I mean? Every now and then I have to like pull the towel apart and like rewrap it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm sitting I'm sitting in my room. Nobody cares. Doesn't matter. It's very, uh, it's a very comfortable attire, though. Not very, um, socially appropriate, you know, necessarily. That was not a good wrapping. Let's get a better wrapping on it. Not very socially appropriate, I suppose. You know, I wouldn't want to go out shopping, dressed like this, perhaps. But, uh, I think it's an underrated outfit from a, from a comfort perspective. It's very free, you know? Anyway. I don't. I don't normally sit for uh, for this long in my in my towel. I haven't even dried my hair yet. Um, I have taken the towel off my hair though. That's can't can't leave that one on for too long. That one's you know wet. It's got to go. That one's that one's you know that one gets real wet. The one the one that go the the towel that goes around your body it doesn't get that wet. You know. The towel that goes around your hair it gets soaking wet though. It's got it's got to go. But uh, it's 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 comfortable, you know. I like it. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of wearing clothes in the first place. I. Uh, I'd be a a naturalist, you know, if um, it were appropriate. But the issue the issue with being um, you know nude all the time is that uh, other people have to see you, and like you don't want to. Subject them to that if they're not into it. Um, and uh, then at the same time, like being naked is also just kind of cold. <laughs> it's the other thing. Like if, if you're if you're always not wearing clothes, then you're kind of, especially in the winter time, it's it's just chilly, you know. I like having some some nice warm clothes on. So the the towel kind of kind of fits both of those scenarios. You know, I'm able to. Um, I am able to remain reasonably warm without uh, feeling like I'm really wearing too many clothes. It's also, uh, you know, reasonably taut, the towel, which, uh, when you're when you're a lady with, with lady bits, is very convenient. Mm, yeah, you know the the boobs they just kind of. When, when 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 you're naked with boobs, it's 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 an, it can be. An, I'm getting so many texts. Okay. Nothing important. You know, it's uh, they they jiggle all over the place. It's annoying. So when you when you got the towel on, it kind of secures them in place. It's it's just it's 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 like the perfect outfit is really what a towel is. When when you boil it down to the simplest equation it's 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 the perfect outfit outside of having to see other people or more specifically other people having to see you 
Give me a. Uh, I know you're gonna be like, why don't you just wear a dress? Why don't you just wear a. Uh, you know, wear a dress or something? It's like, it's not the same, you know? Like a towel is. is uh, you know, you get, you get the, the tightness that you want around the specific, you know, height that you want. And it's a lot more customizable than just a dress you buy. I'm getting so many texts. Oh my god. My family group chat is just going absolutely nuts because my mother texted uh, the group chat what dinner was. My grandma, who lives over in Alberta, is like, yeah, uh, sounds good. I can't really, I'm not sure I'm going to make it. <laughs> and uh, now they're just going crazy. Um, anyway, you know, on the topic of boobs, on the topic of boobs, it's, uh, yeah, I, I like talking about boobs because, um, like, I got boobs, you know? I've been on I've been hormone I've been on hormones for like two years now. The the boobs they kind of they kind of come, you know. <laughs> they uh, they they're part of the package and 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 rightfully so. I'm I'm glad for it. But uh, at times they're they're just inconvenient, you know. Some sometimes you like think to yourself, right? Like, man, having boobs kind of sucks. And then then you remember like, oh no, but I got boobs, and all of the suckiness kind of disappears. But for a brief moment in time, it's uh, it's it, it's an inconvenience that's uh, that's greater than the joy of of, uh, of having boobs. Like um, in particular, I know I know I've got uh, I've got a few trans viewers who are um, I don't know how far along in your transition, but I I've had uh, I've had actually like. A surprising amount of people message me on on YouTube, like private messages and like comments and stuff. Like a surprising number of people who are like, "Hey, it's really cool to see like uh, a trans YouTuber putting herself out there." Like I'm I'm trans myself and yada yada yada, right? Really really cool to see that. I'm really happy that uh, that I get to kind of not be a role model necessarily, but be a uh, I don't know, inspiration, maybe? You know, kind of a... Showing that, like, you know, it, it sucks, but it's not all bad, I guess. <laughs> you know, like that kind of thing. Um, I don't really want to be a role model for anybody. I don't I don't think I, uh, I'm i a good enough person to get that. I, th I think that when you look at any kind of celebrity, they're just not as good enough a person to be a role model. I don't, I don't think you should be looking up to people on, like, YouTube or something like that. Um... Cause like all, all you see is what they show you, right? You know, you don't see their bad days, cause uh, cause they just don't post it, <laughs> right? Like it just doesn't it doesn't go up. I mean, I kind of do, but like even then, it's you know. Um. Anyway, it's 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 cool to see that I am something of a uh, an inspiration to to at least a few people. It, it's actually like really really cool. I'm I'm really happy you guys have uh, have reached out to me like that. And, uh, and told me that it does make me really, really happy to see. Um, but for all y'all out there who are however far along your transition, probably, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that most of them are probably not that far ahead, uh, probably don't have hormones yet or anything. I'm just gonna tell you, okay? Here's the, here's the reality. When, when your boobs are growing, you won't like them. <laughs> you will, you will love them, but you will hate them. You will have a love-hate relationship with them. After after like you know a year or two, you you kind of pass that uh, initial growth phase, and, and the pain kind of falls to the wayside for the most part. Um, but you will you will definitely feel some some soreness and some tenderness in the in the booby area. So especially early on in the transition, um, <clears throat> definitely had a lot of days where I was just like, is this worth it? <laughs> you know, like do I really want it that badly? The answer is always yes. Like. Always yes, but it did get to the point where I, I, <clears throat> I often it. Don't mind me, just joking. On what? I don't friggin' know. <clears throat> what the heck, dude? Um. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> At least make it to the end of the episode. You don't want to upload an episode where you died halfway through. In real life, not the game. Um, anyway, early on in the transition, it was definitely uh, had to question it a lot because it was really painful. 
just uh, boobs that are growing. It's 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 pushing stuff around and it's like stretching stuff and like it's, it's painful. <laughs> it's not pleasant to say the least. Nowadays I'm I'm past that that initial growth spurt, you know. It's not uh, painful. They still grow. Like they're not, you know, stagnate. You know, but uh, they're not stagnant, I suppose. But uh, they're really like it's it's not it's not like that initial growth spurt, you know. It's 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 more. It's it's a little bit slowed down now. Cause out of that initial bit, where you're like, cause it's like, I don't know the science behind it. I just I've grown my own boobs, so I have uh, sort of like anecdotal. Um, I, I like anecdotal understanding of, of how it works, but uh, to me it seems like there's like, you know, chest fat, right? Like like if you're a fat person, you'll probably have like, moobs or whatever, you know, just just kind of like naturally, right? Um, <clears throat> but those aren't that's not the same as boobs. It's like it's a, it's a totally different thing. Um, so you have to like grow the boob first and then the boob expands but the growing of the like initial boob that then expands is is painful the boob itself expanding not so bad you know but uh, you know transforming it into a into a boob it's 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 very painful and I don't know like the the whole science behind how it all works but anecdotally that's that's my experience with it Like breast buds or whatever. I don't know. It's it's really painful early on though. It gets a lot less painful later on, like I said. But and even 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 now, you know, sometimes they just like get in the way. Like you'll walk through a doorway or something like that, and like turn to the side or something, your boob just smacks the door, and it's like, ow! Damn it! <laughs> it's like it's inconvenient at times. Um, and then, you know, if your bras are dirty, it's like, well, I gotta go out. I don't really want to put on, like, this dirty bra, but, like, you know, gotta do something. Less of a problem these days, for sure, but, you know, because you don't want to go out without a bra, necessarily. At least when you have, um, uh, I want to say, like, big boobs, but, like, noticeable sized, you know? You gotta, you gotta have something there to, to kind of keep them in check. Otherwise, you're gonna get a whole bunch of people like staring at you and making awkward comments. Not good. Not good. Um. Yeah, just uh, they're they're inconvenient at times, is all. And then you remember that, like, yeah, but like you got boobs, dude. And it's uh, it all washes away, and it's all good again. Cause they're nice to have, you know. It's very as 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 a trans woman, it's very reassuring, and like reaffirming, I guess, that uh, that I've got them. Cause like it feels good to be like having such a not. An, I don't want to say like important, cause but to have such a uh, like specifically feminine trait is it, is just it's it's, it's very nice to have as a, as a trans woman for sure um but then also like just in general like they're just kind of fun you know i never i don't mean that from like a like a horny perspective okay i just mean like like if you ever like fiddled with like the hair on your arm or something like that like they're just kind of fun it's, it's just a big fat pocket that you just get to kind of fiddle with when you're bored <laughs> Which is like the weirdest thing, right? But it is, uh, it, it's how it goes, okay? Again, it's not like it's not like it's a sexual thing, although I'm not saying they're not fun on that side either. I'm just saying in in general, they're uh, they're they're funny at times. I'm still having like troubles with whatever I choked on. I have to take some water. Uh, 
Hopefully that works. We'll see. I shouldn't have bought the Glock. I should have bought the decals. They're just better. But you know, sometimes you just you want to go with the Glock, right? Some days it's not about what's best. Some days it's about what's funnest, right? Game's not about winning. It's about having fun. I mean, no game is about winning, you know. People often uh, people often forget that. You know, people often forget that that the games are about having fun. If you're feeling like it's a responsibility, like you have an obligation to accomplish something, then uh, maybe you should think about why you're playing the game that you're playing. Because uh, it, it should be fun. You know, I often I often uh, I often think about that. You know, when I'm when I'm playing games and stuff. Like I played Maple Story for a while. Um, in reboot, and I liked it. But I just kind of like looked at myself, and I'm like. I'm just not having fun. You know? Like, I, I grind out a bunch of messos. I cube a bunch of stuff. It feels good when I cube, but, like, it's hundreds of hours to get there. Like, it's just, I'm just not having fun. You know? And, uh... So I, 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 I stopped playing. And it happens all the time with games, you know? Where I'm just like... Yeah, no, like, like I, I don't know why I'm playing this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not enjoying it. It's it's just a, an obligation, habit, you know. And uh, if the only reason you're playing is because like you have to, I mean, just don't. I see uh, I see a lot of posts and like comments and stuff from on on other people's YouTube channels and and uh, Twitch channels and stuff, you know. Who are like, uh, you know, how do, how do you play this game for so long? You know, I I I always get bored of it after a few months, and then I take a break and come back and. You know, I want to. I want to. I want to be more like you and continue playing it. And it's like you know. You know, I don't know the real answer here. They'd do the same thing if they weren't getting paid. <laughs> like, it's not like the only reason they have like they're playing it is is because of the money. Like, we'll take Mathil for example, right? He's a uh, Path of Exile streamer. He streams like five or six or seven hours a day of Path of Exile. And uh, he get asked, he gets asked all the time about like how he's able to, to motivate himself to play uh, Path of Exile so much. And uh, he always says that like that it's his job is is a big motivator. And, and you know we'll we'll use him as an example here because like pretty much every YouTuber you look at is going to be the same thing. You know like Etho, who still plays Minecraft, and um, you know all these people who are playing these games for like decades. And making content of it, you know, they get asked, you know, how are you able to do that? How are you able to motivate yourself to continue finding things? And the answer always comes down to like it's literally just their job. And it's not like Etho isn't having fun playing Minecraft, right? It's not like Mathel isn't having fun playing Path of Exile, right? Like they're having fun doing it. It's it's a fun, enjoyable thing that they're doing. It's just like you know, if if they weren't getting paid, they'd probably be doing something else that they'd also be having fun with. Maybe a little bit more fun. But but since it's like their job and they want to eat and stuff, like they're gonna continue doing the thing that that puts food on the table, right? And. Uh, I forget how we got onto this. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So it's, it's just, uh. You know, I always want to say to those people, like, it's not bad for you to play a game for a while. That's, like, normal. For you to play a game for, like, four months or whatever, get bored of it, do something else, come back, like, a few months later and keep playing it. Yeah, that's normal. That's, that's, you know, it's your attention span just kind of doing its thing, you know? Too many people try to, like, emulate. Uh, what what their favorite streamers and whatnot are doing, and uh, just continue playing the same game over and over and over again, even when they're not having fun with it anymore. It's like just don't, you know, just don't. If you'd be having more fun doing something else, then go do something else. Like you don't have a responsibility to the game to continue playing it. There's no responsibility to continue, like watching me even. You know, like like anything that you're doing is is a hobby, for fun. Just just make sure you're actually having fun doing it. A lot of people uh, don't have fun doing it. Like, you ask uh, like old school RuneScape players why they play RuneScape. <laughs> a lot of them don't know. 
And and none of them will be like, oh, it's just fun. I just like it. You know? Well, a lot of them will. But, like, a lot of them will just be like, I don't know. It's just what I do. Is it great you having fun with it? I don't know. Not really. Like, why are you playing it? Like, I, don't, I don't think nostalgia or, or whatever is, is a powerful enough motivator for, for it to be worth investing so much time into it. Yeah, this is okay. This is okay. No! It's just, I don't think it's a powerful enough motivator, you know? I think a lot of people uh, just forget that, like, the point of games is to have fun. And if you're not, then, like, just stop. That's all there is to it. And if you have an obligation to play the game, then uh, you're going to be a lot more motivated to, to find a way to make it fun, you know? Like, when, when, when playing Minecraft puts food on your table, if, if that's what pays your bills, then it's going to be a lot easier for you to, like, spend, you know, ten minutes or whatever thinking up a way to uh, make it interesting, right? When, when it doesn't put food on the table, you're not going to bother... Like sitting down for like an hour or two and, and think about like what can you do that's going to be exciting and fun and different, you know? Because why would you do that? It's not fun. Anyway, that's that's why uh, so many people are able to play games for so long. Now there's also like some freaks who like don't have any obligation to the game that are able to play for, you know, years on end. Like there's a lot of people in uh, MMOs especially who have been playing for like 15, 20 years. Like you find some World of Warcraft players. Um, find maple story players runescape players like you pick a, an mmo and like you'll find somebody who's been playing it since the day it was released basically um they've just they've just been playing it and they never stopped and uh they just keep playing and it's not even like they're having fun with it it's just what they do it's just part of their routine now you know and i think that's kind of sad to a certain extent I don't, I don't think it's worth envying i don't think it's i don't think it's an enviable position you know, I think that anybody who's having fun is, is the same as anybody else who's having fun. You know, if, if your hobby isn't bringing you anything other than fun, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. There's no right way to do it, you know? There's only the wrong way, which is to stop having fun. But, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter, dude. Who's short of cash? The point of the story is that I like KF2, but I would not play it if it weren't for the YouTube stuff. I wouldn't be touching it. I, I love it. I'm having fun playing it. I wouldn't be touching it. <laughs> it wouldn't. It wouldn't be. I'd, be, I'd, I'd like. I'd uninstall if if I weren't playing for for YouTube. I enjoy it. I just. I'd never be motivated to play it until like a few months from now when I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll go play some KF2, and then I play it again, and you know. But uh, like two games a day every day for a year, no, it wouldn't happen. Not not a chance in hell. But since I'm recording and I have this obligation to to uphold it, it's a lot. It's like easy for me to just keep playing it and keep having fun with it. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say about boobs, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.